Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. Hope you're doing blessed and great. So here's the message from the living God. He basically wants me to read Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. And it's trust no man. Trust in him. Trust in God. So basically the message is trust in God. Above all things, trust in God. And I'm going to read the book out of the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5 to verse 17 and then a few scriptures and Psalms thus says the Lord curse be the man that trusts in man and makes flesh his arm and whose heart departs from the Lord for oh, I'm just gonna get this a little bigger forgive me should did it yeah so thus says the Lord curse be the man that trusts in man and makes flesh his arm and whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, and in a salt land, and not inhabit it. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is the Lord is, for he shall be as a tree, tree planted by the waters, and that spreads out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat comes, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart, I try the rings, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. As the partridge sits on eggs and hatches them not, so he that gets riches and not by right shall leave them in the midst of his days. And his end shall, and in and at his end shall be a fool. A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary, O Lord, the hope of Israel. All that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. This is a prayer that Jeremiah used. And this is a prayer you can use. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Behold, they shall say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. As for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee. Neither have I desired the woeful day. Thou knows that which came out of my lips was right before thee. Be not a terror unto me, thou art my hope in the day of evil. You hear what Jeremiah said to God? Be not a terror unto me, thou art the hope, thou art my hope in the day of evil. Let them be confounded that persecute me, but let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. And that was that was Jeremiah's prayer. He actually wanted me to finish at um, verse 17, but I just didn't finish there because I just wanted you to hear the rest of the prayer. But basically the message was up into um, 17. Be not a terror unto me, thou art my hope in the day of evil. So you can say that to God, be not a terror unto you, and for your, his, his, he's your hope in the day of evil. Now, with with his message with the verse 5 here it says this is his message basically is Jeremiah 17 and 5 thus says the Lord cursed be the man that trusts in man and makes flesh his arm and whose heart departs from the Lord and then when we just read over those scriptures it tells you about the man who doesn't trust in God and the man who and blessed is the man that does trust in God and whose hope is the Lord now in psalms 118 and 8 it is better to trust in the lord than to put confidence in man psalms 56 and 11 in god have i put my trust i will not be afraid what men can do unto me psalms 146 and 3 put not your trust in princes nor in the sons of men in whom there is no help Proverbs 29 and 25. The fear of man brings a snare, but whosoever puts his trust in the Lord shall be safe. 
Now Psalms 40 and 4. Blessed is the man that makes the Lord his trust and respects not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. You hear that? Blessed is the man that makes the Lord his trust and respects not the proud, nor such as a turn to lies. That turn aside to lies, forgive me. So, Psalms 56 and 3. What time am I afraid? I will trust in thee. Psalms 118 and 9. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. And as 2 Corinthians 3 and 4. And as and such trust have we through Christ to God word. Psalm 16 and 1. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. So God's message is for you to put your trust in him and not another. Put your trust in him. Believe in him. Philippians 2 and 24. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Psalms 25 and 20. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed for I put my trust in thee. You had to put your trust in God. Psalms 31 and 6. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. And trust in his word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproach me, for I trust in thy word. Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. What is God to people who put their trust in them? He's a shield to people who put their trust in him. That's why all through the Bible it tells you to trust God, believe in him. Now let me read Proverbs 30 and 5 again. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Psalms 37 and 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So when you trust in God, that's when he'll bring it to pass. Stay blessed, beautiful people. So the message is, don't trust in men. Don't trust in flesh. But trust in God. Stay blessed.